and from one inspirational man to another. Told about the Pan, who served in Burma, is one of only 13 Gurkhas to be awarded the Victoria Cross. He has now had a train named after him. The actress Joanna Lumley, whose father was Pan's commanding officer, was at the ceremony in Paddington earlier. Martin Stew reports. Trains are often named after kings, queens or castles. But the newest arrival at Paddington this morning honours a Gurkha war hero. <laughs> Tulbahada Pun's children unveiling his name on the engine of a GWR intercity express train. He teaches me and all of the family and all the Gurkhas so, so very proud from, uh, with, from my father. Lieutenant Pun won the Victoria Cross for his bravery fighting the Japanese. Ask any British soldier who's ever served alongside Johnny Gurkha and you'll hear nothing but praise for his fighting prowess and his loyalty to comrades. Actress and vice patron of the Gurkha Welfare Trust, Joanna Lumley, got to know him before he died ten years ago. He was the most brilliantly brave Gurkha soldier who my father was with when they were chindits together in Burma. And on this day, June the 23rd in 1944, Tulbahara Pun, in the face of appalling onslaught from the enemy, people dead and dying around him, picked up a gun and ran towards the, Gurkha, the, the Japanese emplacement, lit, backlit by the dawn coming up, a perfect target, going through the most appalling ground and mud and things. He never stopped. He shot and shot and fired. He took three of the enemy. He captured their guns. He was just extraordinarily brave. The naming, delayed by a year, is to mark the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. That's the fantastic thing about naming the trains. It keeps the stories alive. You see the name, you need to look them up, find out what they did, and it's a living legacy then. Lieutenant Pun's family say he was a modest man who would have been honoured by today's accolade. The Gurkha, who ran towards danger, now runs daily in and out of Paddington. Martin Stew, ITV News.